Welcome to another episode. Now, has anybody who's ever done any type of online marketing, they know how frustrating it is to uh, figure out a way to collect people's emails. And a lot of people, if they are collecting people's email, they'll use something called a landing or squeeze page. And let me show you a quick example. This is a landing or squeeze page, and most people are familiar with this. So you simply just add your email and um, you know, you'll get something in return uh, usually. And so this is the best way to collect an email. Now, how is this different from a standard web page? Well, these are called squeeze pages or landing pages. And if you notice, there's really nothing that these pages do. Um, there's like no navigation, nothing. Their whole purpose is to collect people's emails and as anybody who knows if you're doing any type of online business and you want to do this long term and it's not even just the marketing aspect just if you want to create a long-term business you need to uh, collect people's emails and if you've ever tried to create a squeeze page or landing page on WordPress uh, Joomla any type of tool um, it's really a pain to do um, especially if you're brand new to WordPress and on a previous episode, I actually talked about Optimize Press and I also talked about Git Response. These are tools that you can use to create really beautiful and amazing uh, you know, landing pages and squeeze pages and they are very, very professional. However, they do have a cost associated with it. For Optimize Press, it starts at $97, goes all the way up to about $300. And then for Git Response, it starts at 15 a month and goes all the way up to uh, $800 a month. Now, if you're just starting out, you know, with, uh, you know, email marketing or WordPress or so forth, uh, you know, you're trying to do things on a budget. And this is probably not an option that most people will get into right away, especially if they are uh, brand new to uh, WordPress. So with that being said, how do you create one of these really beautiful squeeze page or uh, landing pages without spending any money and you know to make it look professional at the same time the best way that I've seen to do this and this is just for creating the squeeze page is a plugin or actually it's a theme it's actually called launch effect you can go here to launch effect app.com this is a free theme it's a single page theme so all you have to do is come here and you just download it, okay? It's about a one make file. And what it will allow you to do is actually create, you know, really beautiful uh, squeeze landing pages like these, okay? These are really beautiful, professional looking. And it's very, very easy to use. It doesn't require any coding at all, you know? So um, this is their free version. So you're gonna get like one page. If you did wanna get the premium version, there is a cost to it. It starts at 35 and goes up to 65. And it has more features, you know, basically you could create your whole uh, website using this particular theme. So um, I just recommend uh, if you're starting out, just download this free theme. I have not seen one that works better for a free theme. Um, a lot of the ones that I've seen, you know, at, on WordPress, they're just really bad. And if you wanted to do your own, you really have to spend a lot of time you know, finding the right theme or editing the theme or doing some programming and it's just it's not really a fun thing to do and usually it doesn't look good at all and so what you do is once you've downloaded this theme okay you're gonna come to your uh, WordPress website you're gonna come to themes and add new or add new up here and whenever you click on add new all you have to do is right here where it says upload theme just click on upload theme and you just browse for the file that you just downloaded okay once you find it all you have to do is just install it and what's gonna happen is it's gonna appear under your themes so let's go ahead and go there so if you notice here under appearance and then under themes you will now see launch effect light and obviously the light version is free all you have to do is just click on activate 
and now your theme is active this is how it looks like when you activate it the first time just click on visit site and if you notice it's really bare bones but it gives you exact instructions on what you need to do um, like I said this is a very very easy to use tool so here are the instructions here very simple so I'm gonna go over this so you're gonna go here go back to your site the first thing you have to do is set this as a sign up page okay so you're gonna go down here to settings go to reading and default on WordPress it's set up as a you know blog post you know but you don't want that you actually want a static page okay so all you do is choose static page and then on your front page be sure to choose sign up click on that let's go down here and click on save changes okay and now you can actually look at your site again here go to visit site so as you can see your website now looks like an actual squeeze page landing page uh, it's very basic um, so we're gonna go ahead and change that but as you can see it's very nice and clean very mi minimalistic okay so let's go ahead and add it a little better looks to this okay so we're gonna go here launch effect settings now you can also get here by going to launch effect and to designer and you'll get to this particular section now there are many many options on here so I'm just gonna highlight the main parts of this that I think are important first and foremost is actually the page background okay right now it just has a gray background I mean it's very basic so it's not really exciting so you might want to upload your own background picture so all you have to do is click here and then upload or select the image okay and you know I've already uploaded an image so we're just gonna choose this I just click on select don't worry about the dimensions the theme will take care of all of that for you okay let's go ahead and save that and let's go ahead and see how that looks so we'll go here visit site and wow look at that that is a really really pretty looking landing page right there so very nice so there are some other options you could add here and let's go ahead and look at those we'll go back to our settings now say you wanted to you know connect people with your social media websites as well all you have to do is go down here to social icons and you just put in your social media website so I'm just gonna put some dummy sites right here or actually the main sites and not your actual page so go down here to Twitter and um, you don't have to change this URL just for the sake of this demo okay so we'll go ahead and save that so we'll go ahead and visit the page and now you'll notice you have the social icons down here pointing to your you know your social pages and websites which is nice now you can also change the content right here let's go back here now one thing I did want to mention there is an option here it's called a favicon and that's the icons you see up here for websites so you could also upload your own favicons as well now the content in the middle you go here to sign up page now this is where you could actually change the content here okay so you could change the logo and heading you could change the subheadings so the welcome and so forth and you can also change the actual text what it says in the description itself so this is where you can control you know what people read and see on your actual sign up page and you could also do some you know additional you know media items by adding you know a YouTube video if you'd like so let me show you how to do that so we'll go ahead and minimize these and you can add a video right here and all you have to do is go to YouTube you know get the video you want take the embed code just copy it you don't have to edit it or anything you know go here paste it you know 
and I'm gonna go ahead and change this body text as well uh, let me just type in something else uh, I'll just type it right in front of it this is an awesome site uh, if I can learn how to spell yes I think that is gonna work really well we'll just save it as usual then after that after save just have to go here and let's look at our site okay and if you notice uh, there it is there is the YouTube video right there and our new awesome site description <laughs> so as you can see it is extremely powerful and that was very easy to do now the last part which is uh, besides the actual design and everything it's the most important part you actually want to connect this to your email you know your email marketing program or tool um, or your autoresponders and you would go to integrations right here okay so at this point you know you should have some type of a email uh, marketing service to handle this a email management system and there are like mainly uh, two choices here uh, there's some other ones but you know there's MailChimp and Aweber I mean it, it doesn't have the other ones like get response and so forth and um, you know out of these two uh, MailChimp it is free up to the first uh, 2,000 subscribers and Aweber there is a cost to it so for people beginning um, I'd recommend MailChimp so all you have to do here is just put in your API key that you'll get from MailChimp and what that would do is it will connect to your MailChimp service and then you could choose the email list that you want this particular theme to connect to and then you know whenever you do that when you finish all that now your squeeze page your landing page it's fully set up and whenever people do put in their email and submit it will connect with your email management program and there you go you have a really professional looking squeeze page landing page you had to you didn't have to spend any money at all and on top of it you know it's just a really really nice tool to use I mean I I've tried many different ways to create a squeeze page landing page I've tried a lot of different free themes and uh, I mean all of them were pretty horrible and this is the best one out of all of them especially when you are beginning and you know obviously you know when you do want to do more advanced stuff I, I really do recommend uh, optimize press or even get response because get response not only can you create a landing page squeeze pages out of it but you can also use this as your email management autoresponder system as well so uh, that is pretty much for this episode um, if you did like this you know be sure to uh, subscribe and um, you had any uh, comments or ideas please leave them below and uh, I'll see you on the very next episode